We all love our food. Why have I got that line? But we've never thought about food as fuel before. We want to find out how food can affect our performance. So we're going to meet up with some sporting heroes, experts in beauty and brainy people to find out what they eat. And how it helps them reach their goals. Here on, mate. Here on, mate. What are you doing? I'm just waiting for my ride. Is so that for our collab with the GCN? The Global Cycling Network? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh boys. You looking oh, for a ride? Right. Yeah. Help, yep, chaps. Ah. ah. Couple of spare seats here. Yeah? Not because there's four, four of us. Four bikes. Yeah, four seats. Yes, two for the price of one. Ah. Come on, Jamie. Fingers crossed. Hop on board. Feeling confident now. We're cycling, lads. We're not going skating. Anyway, Are you ridden does the my helmet before? look good? No. No, I haven't even. Nor have we. <laughs> I wish you luck. <laughs> I haven't seen this for all week. <laughs> so Dan, uh, you were a pro cyclist? Uh, yeah, retired a couple of years ago, but spent a good 10 or 15 years of my life training and racing full time. I guess as you were training and, uh, and competing, that nutrition played quite a heavy part in your success. Oh, hugely, and I mean, especially endurance cycling, because not only is it four or five hours over a day but it's also day after day so you need to not only think about your nutrition for that particular race or stage but also for what you're going to have to do the day after because if you don't get quite the right calories in one day then you can really suffer the following day. We always have sort of breakfast about three hours before the event and that'll be like some oatmeal or porridge or something with maybe an omelette. We might even have some extra sort of white rice with the omelette as well if it's a really long day. Uh, and then quite a bit of nutrition on the bike. You know, I'll be eating and drinking as we go along. And then after the race, I've got a recovery drink, then like a recovery meal with some sort of, you know, sugars and rice and that sort of thing that goes into your body really quickly. And then a nice nutritious meal in the evening. Attack! I'm on the wrong side of the road. Whoa, there we go. And what about on the lead up to race? So the weeks before. The weeks before a race, depending on your training program, you just need to make sure you have a really healthy, balanced diet. And uh, over the last few years, there's been some real advances in understanding the physiology of, of training for sport, and more importantly, the kind of uh, fuel that you're putting in your body. So there's constant, constantly advancing in relation to the understanding of, uh, of fueling your body. But, uh, so it's basically a very, very good balanced diet and obviously personal choice. And some riders might actually look to lose weight on the run up to an event. So it's the middle of a ride. You've just gone up a massive mountain. Yep. What can you do to help recover? You've still got another 50 miles to go. Yeah, yeah. the thing is on a long ride, especially in the, the conditions like we're riding in today where it's a bit chilly, your body burns more calories to stay warm. Yeah. So it's vital that you don't go, don't get what we call in cycling as the bonk. And the bonk is basically when you run out of fuel and hit right. the wall. And uh, it's not a very pleasant experience. Right, so what are your tips for the race? Because it's so short, it's going to be very intense, but we're going to be riding for about five or six minutes, so you can't go too hard too early. So it's crucial that we pace ourselves and don't go into the red and bonk, okay? okay. We've already talked about the bonk. So no you, you, don't want, the you don't want to be bonking up the hill, no. exactly. Um, I don't think there'll be any requirement for us to refuel in such a short distance but should you get yourself into difficulty because of the arduous effort at hand I have got plenty of grub which I'm afraid to reach for at the moment in case we fall off but I can assure you <laughs> it is in my back pocket may the best team win teamwork can I have a lie down now Ladies and gentlemen, the race, two miles uphill, and the winner is to receive coffee and cake, baked by Ben Ebrill, yes, and Sai. Hey. Oh, On your no. marks, get set, go! I need a gel! Here! We've only 
down the mile, but get a gel down here, Jamie. Little and often. Little oh. and often. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. We must be almost there by now. They're totally in our slipstream. If we break really hard, yeah, they fly straight past us and we'll buzz the tower. Let's do it. I reckon set. Let's top gun. Let's go, go. Try and get a gap early. Through the way! This is our break! Right, Jamie, this is it, bud. Right. We could become a team. Oh, yeah. I can see it now. Oh. Our name in light. We're coming into the village. What's your coffee order? Cappuccino or flat white? Decent. Come yes. on. Come we on. Got it. I think we got it. Yes. We've got to won it. Oh, high five. Oh, In your face, we get cake. Oh, oh. oh, oh yes. Oh. Oh. So, what was it like for you? I mean, as an experience, I really enjoyed it. So, I've done some cycling before, Play not for, not for a while. Don't, don't be like that. Not for a while, but I've done some cycling before, um, but never on the back of a tandem, on the road, in the wet, going up and down hills. So you must have learned something though, surely. Yes. They look good in Lycra, for a start. There is that, there is that, that's one. I've learned how unfit I am. Um, I've learned, no, that's pretty much all I've learned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was, the, was there a photo finish mic at all for us to maybe look back at? Yeah, we haven't at? actually confirmed the result. We haven't confirmed yeah. the well, result I mean, actually, have we? we, yeah. There it is. I think, I think that confirms our thoughts. Oh, okay. What were you eating last night? Last night, what did I have? I had uh, some chili with some nachos. Mike. Doing a good job, you were on the back then. Yeah, I had, had turbo boost uh, <laughs> some chicken. Protein. But I had no carbohydrates, that's the reason. The problem, if, I, if I'd have had this chat with Dan yesterday, I'd have prepared properly for this race. And then we probably, probably would have lost, but by a smaller margin. <laughs> <laughs> so as official winners, I'd like to present you guys with a knife to cut the cake. Boys. Guys, a massive thank you from all of us. Uh, you've been incredible. You supplied all of the equipment for us today. Uh, it's been amazing and even better because we won. There you go. Um, if you want the recipe for this cake, you can go see Ben and Si make it on their channel. So go over there and watch that. And while you're there, make sure you subscribe because their stuff is incredible. Uh, if you're into bikes, if you're not into bikes, go over there because there's some really cool stuff over there. So go and subscribe. Lots of men in Lycra. Brilliant. And ladies. Hey, not many ladies in Lycra, it's been like We got equipped. Strip down. Strip down. And then Barry did the only work that he's done all day. He just said three, two, one, go. Good work. Even that was quite, quite tricky for him because it's counting. Backwards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it took four takes. <laughs> <laughs> Moist, it's got depth, it's cohesive, it's firm, it's not too dry. It hits the spot. Do you spend all your spare time watching Bake Off? <laughs> <laughs> the fruit is way down in the mix, but there's a late kick. <laughs> this is just Matt's life, generally. 